Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today doing the what's next on former two-time middleweight champion of the world, Ryota Murata of Japan. Murata is coming off of a tough ninth round TKO loss to Triple G Gennady Golovkin as they attempted to unify belts on um, April 9th on a DAZN card from Japan. So he got to fight in his home country of Japan. Came up short against, to be honest, a future Hall of Famer and still one of the best fighters in the world, um, even though he's he's 40 years old in Triple G. But, you know, hey, Ryota Murata's no spring chicken. He's 36 years old, and he fought his ass off. To be honest, he fought better than I thought I expected him to fight. Uh, he was coming off of a near two-and-a-half-year layoff, you know, and hadn't been 12 rounds in over, and I, I want to say that was, what, th uh almost three years since he went a full 12 rounds and he was going in against you know arguably the number one middleweight in the world i mean most people myself included still had triple g as the number one middleweight in the world and um he went in there and he really bullied triple g those first four or five rounds now i say bully but i'm going to use quotes because triple g was landing shots that whole time he was throwing counter shots but riota murata really got in there and was pushing the action and bullying Triple G around the ring. Now, Triple G weathered that and from the fifth round on dominated and ended up stopping Murata. But Murata, you know, just, um, he brought the fight, he fought hard, and now the big question is, what's next for him? Well, this was the third loss of his career. Um, you know, but first, um, is the second decisive loss of his career. First time he's ever been stopped. But, this is the first time he's not going to have a chance at a rematch. His first loss to Hassan Nadam was a bullshit decision. He um, he got an immediate rematch and knocked out Nadam. And then he fought Rob Brent and got dominated over 12 rounds, rematched Rob Brent, and stopped him in two rounds. He's not going to get a Triple G rematch. There's just That's just not going to happen. So what is next for Rio de Murata? At 36, does he come back? Um, does he retire? It's going to be interesting to see what happens, you know. I mean, he hasn't had a long professional career. He's a 2012 Olympian, turned pro, and really only 19 fights in his professional career. Um, 16 and 3, I believe, is his record. Um, has some got, has some good wins, solid wins, but, um, you know, is he going to be able to bounce back and get back in the mix? I hope he does. I think Triple G should. I mean, Rio de Murata should make one more run of it. Because if he stays at middleweight, the division's turning over. Triple G's moving up, excuse me, to fight Canelo, most likely. Demetrius Andre's moving up in weight. Um, Jamal Charlo's moving up in weight. This division's turning itself over, so he might have more opportunities. But Rio de is also a big guy at 160. Maybe he goes to 168 uh, to compete in a division that's also about to turn over. It's going to add on all these other guys canelo if canelo stays successful with most which most people feel he will he's gonna be moving to light heavyweight uh full time most likely to go after the undisputed title there i don't think he's really gonna have any other business outside of fights against jamal charlo and stuff like that um and demetrius andre um that he's gonna take so riota murata is gonna have those opportunities if he stays in the game um so i'd like to see murata compete some more and fight. I think his next fight, though, is going to be a tune-up bout if he does come back, and it might, may or may not be before the end of the year. I hope it is. That shows his seriousness, but I don't even see a point in running through the top 10 because I don't see him fighting a top 10 guy next, but he does nothing to hang his head about. He fought his ass off in a tough fight against a, a great uh, Hall of Famer and, and future, uh, well, you know, and, and reigning unified middleweight champion, Triple G Gennady Golovkin. So, that's it. That's the what's next for former two-time middleweight champion Ryota Murata following a hard-fought, tough TKO loss to Triple G Gennady Golovkin. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate any support. And that's it. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.